Hello, welcome back to the Offgrid family. Right, today we're back making the K40 laser bed. Um, it's basically a bed that can be lowered and raised by a stepper motor. Um, there'll be links to the actual 3D printable bits that I used. I didn't actually design the bed myself. I'm going to be working mainly on the actual software side of things. One thing I have changed about it is I cut this out. I did that off camera because there was no point me showing you it. And basically all I've done is cut big holes for where the screws need to go through and then I put some holes for connecting it to the actual frame and for um, small zip ties for connecting the wire mesh that the bed is going to be made out of. I've done that just purely so that um, the laser doesn't go through and touch anything below and also it means that I've got a, uh, like a flat platform for the wired mesh bed to sit on and hopefully that will keep it flat but we'll see uh, if not I might have to drill some holes in the middle and screw it that way but we'll see also off camera I did all the things I said in the end of the last one just put in um, the same bolts in places and various other bits and bobs so let's have a look at what needs to be done and we'll have a look at what I'm going to be doing in this episode okay basically we're on a time limit again this week so we'll try and get as much of it done as we can hopefully I'm trying to get the, um, the wiring and the actual coding all done today we shall see let's get on right so as i said i've um put some proper bolts on there and on these this has all been re-screwed and bolted in so we're up to where we should have left off uh, um well should have left it last episode right this now fits over here like that and then the, the wire mesh will actually fit on top of that and I'll obviously drill out some holes for the screws to go through there as well. So it'll be something like that but obviously lengthways. I've made these holes here and here and here and here so that I can actually pop rivet into the uh, frame underneath. And then these are the zip tie holes which hopefully I'll be able to use to zip tie this together. Now, I don't want to um, connect these for good together because I want to be able to take it off and give it a clean um, because this stuff gets very, very dirty very quickly. But that is another reason why I put this uh, metal plate on here. It was to stop all the other stuff getting dirty. If I had left it like this and put this on, whoa, um, we would have got a lot of um, different bits of nasties building up underneath. Um, I will try it with and without to see if I've just wasted time making this piece because I'm a bit concerned that this might cause uh, more of the resins to come out of the wood than uh, if it's just this on its own, but we'll see. If I do find that this is actually causing too much, then what I can do is actually have it below. Oh, let's try and get it on. And then this would actually connect on like so. Let me just put that on. And then this would be on top. So basically, it still protects the bottom of the laser and the inner workings of this table, but it just um, it won't cause too much of the problem with the resins and stuff and please ignore these two holes here they're supposed to be there because it's really important I have two holes there for a reason I'll come up with later the first thing I would like to do is connect these things whatever they're called I can never remember uh, connect them to here and I'll do that all through that's another thing I did buy some screws which are here hopefully I've got enough of the right sizes that I need We'll soon find out. Right, they're all on and it does wind down. Um, I will say though that this corner is getting stuck. Now I don't know if that's because I can't obviously get them to wind down equally until I put the... Um, the belt on so I don't know why that is yet if it is the case that this is a bit damaged uh, the odds are hang on let me just unscrew it so I was just fiddling the odds are it's actually this um, screw that I've messed up because I did it with a 
angle grinder and you know it's probably me in fact I can feel a sharp bit there that I might try and file down um, but if not I can cut another one or I've got one more of these as well so you know I can always make something so next then we're gonna put the belt on one thing I'm very worried about is I just bought the belt and I haven't tested it for size or anything so yeah I'm hoping it's long enough all right, first things first, I need to make this grub screw lower. That'll do. Right, now, how did this go? This went like this, didn't it? Out here. Another thing I haven't got is something to connect the, um, the belt together, so I'm probably just gonna bend a bit of wire. Yeah, plenty. Right then, next what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the, the belt on. I'm going to tighten it up best I can. These things here are designed so you can tighten and loosen it. So what I might do is put them to their loosest and then tighten it. And I believe was the the um, stepper is also designed so you can tighten it as well. So I'll do a bit of fiddling around and come up with a way of connecting the belt as well. Okay, I have connected the belt together with... A set of wires um, and there's a bit of overlap let me show you um, and I'm just gonna see if it works but I'm going to set up all the electronic side of things first before cutting this and before cutting these back just to make sure it's working without too much so it's gonna probably cause a bump as it goes over I would think yeah and see if that causes any problems if it does you know then I'll have to come up with a better way of connecting these I did think about splitting it horizontally and sort of like in a diagonal and then gluing them together but I just can't be bothered. Right let's get on with the electronic side of things. Right so these are the innards of the K40 bed this is going to be doing all the hard work. I have got an Arduino um, Uno I believe a knockoff ripoff version. We've got a motor driver, um, we've got a little joystick, a limit switch and then this is a um, little LCD display it's uh, 1.8 SPI TFT now the code on the old backy poos is HY-1.8 SPI and I did a little bit of searching for that and I found all of the blurb and libraries and stuff I'm gonna need and I will try and link them in the description but I also in one of my other videos said I've got no more of this PCB left and I found this piece but it is old and I'm hoping it will work but it's already got bits of places where bits have eroded and so on so I'm gonna have to work quite hard at making sure I'm not gonna um, cause any issues and end up being around this when I'm doing the soldering so I'm gonna do a time lapse of this I will show you all the relevant um, circuits and so on that I'm doing in a minute I might do a voiceover who knows see how lucky you are but I'm gonna get on now just a quick interlude, I, I'm a lot further ahead in real time, but I wanted to come and tell you, um, whenever connecting an Arduino to any PCB, always use these um, connectors and actually solder the connectors in because some sketches do not like being uploaded if there's things connected to the pins. So always do it on, um, on something so you can take it out because otherwise you might not be able to upload certain sketches. Right, back to the future.
Okay, so, um, as you won't have seen towards the end, so I got bored of recording it, and I'm sure you would have got bored watching it, um, I continued making the um, circuit, like I said. Um, I think it's all ready. I'm just going to wire up very uh, as a temporary, and I'll wire this on using these type of connectors, you know, the um, breadboard kind of styly. Um, and I'm going to give it a test. So let's see if it works at all. Right, this is going to be the first test turning it on. Now, I know for a fact one of these um, blew when I last used it. Like, this is why I had to stop doing my CNC project, which is what they've come from. Back in those days, I couldn't have even afforded another one of these, you see. So I, I needed three for that, and um, one blue. Now, this has got a tiny little black cross just here. And for some reason, I think, oh, that's the one I, I marked to say it was black, bust. So if nothing happens, we're all good, we're fine. Um, all I'm expecting is if it does work for some lights to turn on here because I haven't got anything set up with the Arduino at all yet. We have a light. Okay, right. Next then. Let's see about sorting out some code for the Arduino. Right, I have uploaded it, but I'm not sure if it's even the right sketch. I wanted a, just a test sketch. And um, the one I chose, I thought it had a test sketch for it, but apparently not. No. I will try and quickly change this out. This is why I put everything on those little connector jobbers. Okay, let's try that again. Uh, this is just a... Hail Mary, this definitely will not work. But I wanted to do this before having to go and write the code myself because I wanted to test it at least was working first. <laughs> Something I need to do, but nothing to do with it. I've missed some pads I need to grind off. Right, I'm going to have to go and write a bit of coding. Damn it. Okay, I've added a new uh, sketch to it and this is one I've actually downloaded off the internet so I didn't actually have to come up with anything myself. Um, now, oh, I need to, oh, you're such a div. Let's put that back in. Right, and test. Okay, it does not. Now this, if you have a look, hang on. If I hold it, then it wants to go back to where it started. That is probably in the code, to be honest. Um, I, I'm not sure, but it doesn't bother me. That That's it working. Right. Let's connect this up to the actual bed and see if the bed is okay, etc. Okay, this is going to be the first test with the actual bed on, and I haven't actually put the bed completely on yet. I've just rested it on the top, so I'm hoping that it will be able to go down of its own free will. Okay, that's just grinding that belt, is it? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so no. We've still got a problem with this corner. Okay, right, let's try and unscrew it again. about the same height. Let's have a look. Right, I've put it all on in at the same sort of height and we'll see if it was just that the um, the thing was sticking or if it was, you know, if it is error of some kind.
So it thinks, the coding thinks that is as far as it will go. Okay, so it is working. Okay, so we've got it raising up a bit, going down a bit, and that is in the coding. I had a quick look just a second ago. That just makes it go down to a certain point and come back up to a certain point, which is fine. It showed us that it was working. Um, it also showed me that both of the um, uh, stepper, uh, stepper drivers were working. I've only got one more left, and I was sure that one was the working one, so maybe I'm sure that one's the broken one, and I'm just confused. First off, could you subscribe? I'd really appreciate it. I'm trying to get to 10,000 by the end of this year. It was the end of last year, but who cares, you know. Well, a year's a year, let's forget about 2020. Um, I'm gonna leave it there just because I've got so much left to do. I would like to write a really nice bit of coding so it's got error handling and various other things. I want a screen connected like we've already spoke about, and there's a lot more to do. And if I rush it now, it will work, but it may not work properly, and I don't want people to copy what I've done and you know download the code especially people who don't know how to do any of the sort of arduino coding themselves i don't want them to download it and you know it something goes wrong and it ruins their their laser cut or maybe even ruins their laser in some way so i will try and get another video out next week on this if not i've got another one coming out soon on something else it may be that i'm not sure but thank you so much for watching and i will see you again next week bye for now